I really hope he watches this video. What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video and what we're going to be discussing today, it's going to be a quick video, not, not going to be too long or anything. And it's simply based on friendly war bases versus the regular war bases because it's amazing even right now, I mean friendly wars have been out for quite some time now and it's the go-to for setting up a range wars obviously with CWL going on. Right now we actually do have a matchup in From Molten Lava against uh, Super Bear and this is in the MLCW, the Minor League Clan Wars. And I just want to show everybody how exactly to change your base to make sure you have the right base selected because time and time again, we keep seeing people say, oh, Supercell, they're so stupid. I switched my base. This is the wrong base. You know, the, the war already starts and they realize they're running a farm base. It actually happened in the FYSB war. Shout out to FYSB. They had a guy who literally had a farm base active. So I'm going to show you guys how to make sure that doesn't happen to you when you guys are doing these arranged wars and these friendly wars. So first thing I want to do is I want to show you guys the difference between the this layout editor right here. You have your three war bases right here. So when, you, when you're on your main village and you click this icon right here, you can clearly see you click war base. You can select any one of these three bases to be your war base. And you can make any changes to that base if it's a regular spin, if it's just a regular war, um, you know, where you're just doing a regular search and you match whoever, you can make any changes to that base and they will be active. And you can switch between any one of your three bases that you can use in war right now. And you can go ahead and make any changes to that layout and it will still be active. So... The difference here, and the reason why you have to do this, the f a lot of people will have a base selected, okay? A lot of people will have, like right here, I have this as this layout right here. This is my active base that I can use in war right now if we do a regular spin. This base, we'll go ahead and go to photo mode. This is the base right here. Take a good look at it. So that, and I can make any changes to it, and it will still remain active, and I can use it. Now, if you go here... And you go to the friendly map. This is where it gets a little different right here. So this is that village I was showing you guys. I cannot use it for another 38 minutes. This is the base I'm actually going to be running in this war. Because this war starts in you know just under 7 hours. And in 38 minutes I can go ahead and run this base. Until then these are the only two bases that I can run right now. And if I make any changes to that base, if I make any changes to that base, it gets locked for another 24 hours. You have to make sure that you set it for active. You have to make sure like right here, we'll go ahead and save this. This obviously isn't going to be my real base. So we'll go ahead and take a look at it. It's obviously just my farm base. So now, we'll actually, we'll go back and look at this. So you guys can take a good look at it. So here's the base right here. Now say I go to, now if you keep in mind, it is active right now. Now let's go over here and now let's make some changes to it. Let's say that base is active and you want to, you know, make a couple changes. So let's say I'm going to put the town hall, if I can click on it. Let's say I'm going to put the town hall there and I'm going to move the expo there. So now I'm going to go ahead and save it, okay? So obviously isn't going to be my my real base here. So now let's go over to the friendly war. And now we'll go ahead and look at it right here. Now you see right there now it is locked. So if you if you guys have a base set in a friendly war and it is active, if you make any changes, it does not show up until the cooldown. That's what it's called until the cooldown is up. So make sure that when you set these friendly war bases, and again, the only way you can set a friendly war base is when you are on the map for the friendly war. When the war has already been spun, you've already matched. And um, that's basically 
the exact way that you have to do it. You have to make sure when that base is active that that is your base and you cannot make any changes or it will take an entire day for it to be active, which will be well before the war even ends. So it's just something to keep in mind. Again, I'm sure you guys have seen it in your clans. For those of you watching this that are in the FFS family, you guys have seen this happen time and time again. People blaming the game. Oh, it's so stupid. But like I said, it's operator error. And it's very simple to make sure that you guys have the correct base layout. So actually, let me make sure that I, let me make sure I change it to the right one. I do not want to run a freaking farm war. And then we can go and look at it. And you can clearly see that the base has been changed. But since I made those slight changes on that farm base, just as an example, it does not let me set it as active. So make sure you guys have these bases built before your CWO matches and make sure, contact your guys' as leaders, make sure that you know how long you have to build your base. It's a 24 hour cooldown. So if you guys are doing a friendly war and it's only a 16 hour spin, you have to know that. You have to make sure that you are given enough time to have these bases off cooldown, get them FC'd, get them tested to make sure you are running the perfect base for your ranged war, whether it's just in a regular ranged war or if it's a CWO war. At any rate, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. I just wanted to get something out there real quick because a lot of people have been asking about how to set the right base. Why, you know, why, what's the difference between the regular war base versus the friendly war base and how to make changes and so on. So I hope, I really do help. Or I really do hope that this video helps everybody in making sure you guys have the best base available for you in your wars. And if you guys have any comments, please do not hesitate. Leave those down below. Any comments, questions, or concerns. I am pretty good about responding to you guys for those of you that do leave comments. And make sure you guys like the video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you guys in the very next video.